So this video is a short format review of the Zemi-Smart SDM01 three-phase energy meter and if you are interested in this device there is like a 30 minute or close to 30 minute review which is coming up shortly on my YouTube. So here I'm just trying to summarize what this does. So it is a three-phase energy meter and it uses Zigbee but there is also a Wi-Fi version available if you prefer that one. It is primarily designed for Tuya, but I also tested it with Zigbee to MQTT and it's just working just fine. At the moment it costs about 103 USD, which I think is typical for this type of three-phase energy meters. The things I like about it is it, it measures uh, bi-directional measurement and in the Tuya app it also has a lot of different alarms that you can set up for over voltage, over current, over power protection, things on energy. It has special things like uh, uh, a phase loss alarm or unbalanced power alarm so there is a lot of things that you can set up and then it has a dedicated screen for alarm history so you can see all the different alarms in the timestamps which i think it's especially useful when you are you know you are troubleshooting an issue which might have happened overnight the one thing i don't like about this is that on the main screen when it shows the graphs how much power you have consumed then it doesn't you know, showing the graph, all the energy that you have uh, generated. So it is definitely measuring the energy used and the, so the energy consumed and the energy generated. So forward power and return power, but somehow it's not that, you know, clearly displayed on the screen, or at least it's not displayed in a, in, in a way that I expected it. It's, it's not a big deal, but if you are in, especially interested in that information, then, you know, it would have been nice if the generation is shown on the same graph. So let's say the consumption is the upper part of the graph, which goes to positive and then generation maybe goes down below, but here the, the, you know, the generation is just cut. So, you know, obviously you're not consuming anything, but it's not really showing how much you have generated in the same period. Other than that, the graph functionality is fine. It's the usual stuff. You can't export the data. So that's one thing that you have to bear in mind. On the other hand, I also tested it in Zigbee to MQTT and it's just great. And it uh, Zigbee to MQTT recognizes it. It is supported and it has all the information that you ever want. You have power, you have uh, current, you have voltage, you have power factor, you have frequency, you have all this information for all the different phases and you have power energy and you have consumed energy and uh, returned energy uh, also per phase and then you know combined as well. So that's basically covers all the different things that you want to you know do in a home automation system. So you basically have every single data point that you can build your own triggers, your own automation based on it. So I think it's a great device. It is easy to install. It's a one DIN size, so you can easily put it in a consumer box or in an electrical cabinet. You just clamp the, read, uh, the readers on, so the current clamps, and then you just hook up the sense fires. So it's fairly easy to install. It's small and it just works.